Hello everyone, my name is Shazeb Hamid and welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to see a customer segmentation technique on uh, our data and the libraries that we are going to use are pandas, numpy, matplotlib and seaborn. Out of those pandas and numpy will are used for analysis and matplotlib and seaborn are used for visualization. Right. So basically we are going to do all of this with the help of data analysis and visualization. So let's get it started. Paul, let's bring in the libraries that we are going to use. So the first library is pandas. So let's write import pandas as pd. And the second library is numpy. So let's write import numpy as np, right? So these are the first two libraries that we are going to need, right? There are two more libraries that are going to be utilized here for graphical representation and those libraries are matplotlib and seaborn. So let's import them one by one. So I am going to import matplotlib.pyplot. So matplotlib.pyplot as plt and the second one is seaborn. So let's import seaborn as sns right so now let's move forward let me bring in the data that i am going to utilize in this specific video right so let me write this df is equal to pandas is the library that i am going to use for this read underscore csv and here i am going to write mall customers so customers dot csv now let's run this and let's move forward right if i want to see the head of this data frame if you have been following along in our videos then you know what is a data frame right uh, it is just a way to represent sheets and data inside uh, you know python right with the help of the library that is called pandas right so if i write df dot head then i'll get the uh, start of the data right if i write df dot tail then i get the end of the data like this okay and what is the next step the next step is actually to uh, you know sort of see the genders right because uh, we have uh, two different genders here the first one is female and the second one is male right so here i'm going to import the genders from this data frame right so for that i'm going to write genders is equal to df dot gender right which is the name of the column dot value underscore counts let's see how many values there are right and then we'll move forward after that let me just fixate the fix size right so for that i'm going to write plt dot figure and in this i'm going to write fix size is equal to 10 comma 20 right let's run that and after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bar plot with the help of SNS that is Seaborn, right? So let me show you that now. So that is equal to SNS dot bar plot. And in this I'm going to write X is equal to genders, right? So I'm going to take the index from genders. So X, X is equal to genders dot index. And after that Y is equal to gender dot values so let me run this it's supposed to be genders so these are the males that are present here and these are the females right so now that we have uh, you know seen the representation of genders into our complete uh, you know data frame the next step is actually to make a division on the basis of age right so if you see right here there are multiple ages that are present here right so now what i'm going to do is i am going to distinguish them one by one right so for example age 18 to 25 is equal to df dot age and here i'm going to write uh, you know age df dot age which is the column right is 
less than equal to 25 and df dot age is dot age is greater than and equal to 18 right so let's give in bracket here as well right so it will give us all the ages between 18 to 25 right so if we want to do a division for 26 to 35 we'll have to write 20, uh, 35 here and 26 here right so let me bring in all the age groups that we have divided this into there we go so these are all the age groups now let's run this and let's move forward right so what is the next step the next step is actually to uh, you know give the values of x to something like the first one is 18 to 25 the second one is 36 to 45 the third one is 46 to 55 after that the next one is above 55 so for that i am going to just write above 55 later what i can do in y is i have to write y is equal to length of uh, you know age 18 to 25 dot values right so age 18 to 25 and all of the values that are available in this so this will be the first y of values right the second one will be length of age 30 uh, 26 to 35 values let me bring in the rest so the complete y will look something like this right so we have age 18 to 25 right here then age 26 to 35 right here then 36 to 45 so on and so forth right so these are all the age groups that we have divided our data into now what is the next step the next step is to plot the figure so for that i am going to write plt dot figure and then i'm going to write fix size is equal to 15 comma 6 right and after that i'm going to give it a title for that let's write plt dot title and here i'm going to write number of customer and ages after that i'm going to give it an x level so for that let's write plt dot x level and in this i'm going to write ages and then there will be a y label so let's write plt dot y label here i'll write number of customers and then i'll show the plot with the help of sns so let's say this is a bar plot where x is equal to x and y is equal to y at the end i'm going to write plt dot show to show you the plot so let's run this so this is the plot that we get out of that right and there was an error and uh, it was due to this value right and i uh, got that out and now we have this plot in which there are almost 38 people between this age and then around uh, you know 60 in this age group and then so on and so forth right so you can see that it is a very good looking plot so here we have seen the segmentation with the help of plotting right and here i have utilized uh, different age groups and the data is being segmented with the help of uh, data analytics techniques and the main libraries were pandas and matplotlib and seaborn right and it is a data analytics problem right after that what we can do is we can also do segmentation on the basis of income right let me show you on the basis of income right here on the basis of spending score right here so all of these things can also be taken into account 
right let me do one of these more right so that you have a better understanding right now what we are going to do is we are going to do the same thing for annual income right so let me do that so as you can see annual income if you look at right here it can be divided into uh, you know less than 30 right and then it can be taken to 60 90 120 and 150 right so 0 to 30 will be one group 31 to 60 will be another group and then 61 to 90 and then 91 to 120 and 121 to 50 right so it will be something like ai 0 to 30 is equal to df and then i'll write annual income sorry annual income and here after that i'll write take the values from this uh, you know specific column which are above zero or below 30 right so only take those values let me repeat it only th take those values in the data frame so only take those values in the data frame that are below zero right so the complete name of the column is k and then dollar sign like this okay and the in the same way here also k and then the dollar sign okay and what i was saying is uh, we can take the values that are greater than or equal to zero right or and other than that we can take the values in the same way that are lesser than 30 right so let's write that df annual income and then i'm going to write k and then dollar sign and after that i'm going to write less than equal to 30 right out of this of course less than equal to 30 so this is how we can write this right and in the same way we can do this for others as well let me bring in the complete map of code so this is the complete map the first one is from 0 to 30 and then 31 to 60 and then so on and so forth right and in the same way when we did this division for x and y we can now divide x and y on the basis of these values right so y will be the length of this then the length of this then this this and this and x will be 0 to 30 then 31 to 60 then 61 to 90 and all of these values right so what i can write is x is equal to 0 to 30 31 to 60 61 to 90 91 to 120 and 121 to 150 right and in the same way for y i can write length of this first ai 0 to 30 dot values right and then length of ai 31 to 60 dot values and then so on and so forth so let's run this and let me show you the code and uh, you know we can just showcase let me copy this one and let's paste it here so we can just uh, showcase the code by making a little bit of changes so in income here and then number of customers right so this is it this is how this plot will be shown right so this is another segmentation that we have done on the basis of data analysis techniques right so in the same way you can do a lot of you know segmentations just by using these basic libraries right so if you want to see more videos like this keep watching ai sciences